Have you ever had one of those days where you think it's one day and it's actually another? Well, that's today. I thought we had the doctor's appointment tomorrow with my husband and actually it's today. He gets injections in his eyes because he's a diabetic and he has, I forget just what you call it. But anyway, it's today. So I've got to get myself ready. So I'm just going to do a quick light to medium coverage, and I'm going to show you how easy it can be, even if you only have a few minutes uh, to get ready. So I'm going to start with the BB cream. I love Celeste. It's my favorite, and uh, it is, I use shade four just for reference, and it is buildable, so I may put a little bit more on than, than you would. It does have vitamin E. It is uh, skincare infused, and it is, uh, it's SPF 25, even better. So it's all around good for your skin. So we're just going to tap it on here before we blend. Let's grab it all and then we're just going to blend it in. Really simple. Now when you're using one shade you know how normally when, thank you, when you use more than one shade uh, I tell you, keep that shade in its lane, like the concealer and, and things like that. Well, I'm going to show you how we're going to add that, but we're going to do it very quickly and after we have put one layer on. And these are all cream products because those of you who follow me know that I am a mature skin needs cream makeup. It's just no question there. Uh, most creams do not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. However, some do. The ones I use do not. So that's why I use them. So anyway, here we go. And again, remember to drag it down your neck just a little bit to be sure you don't have that line right here and go up into the hairline so the scalp line is not shining. Now I'm going to go just over my eyelids just a little bit just to even it out just a tad. So where is everyone watching and tuning in from today? I'm in Southeast Louisiana and that's kind of that. I think today too, since my rosacea is a little bit active, I'm going to go with like uh, the purpley mauve shades. Plus I think it blends well with the blue. There we go. Okay, Wales and the UK, we're coming to you soon in the UK. We are uh, November, Southern California, cool. Today too, it, it's, uh, it's hot. It always happens after we have a storm, it's like we get hot and, oh, hotter, I should say, because it's always hot here or warm in Louisiana. We don't have a winter uh, to speak of. But today, it's hot. It is just hot and it's humid. That makes it even worse. Now, I'm going to grab my contour crayon. It is a cream. And this is cool taupe. Or not cool taupe, deep taupe. But it's a cool tone. I prefer cool tones. So what we're going to do is put a shadow up here. Just do a shadow on the cheeks. A shadow over here on the cheeks and I don't think I'm going to do my neckline just for time or do the jawline I'm just going to do my nose there we go and maybe dab a little bit on there we go a little bit on my eyebrows if you my eyebrows are on the gray side so I think once you you kind of put um, a little bit of color it just sort of makes your face have a lift Eyebrows make a difference. They do. We need our eyebrows. Okay, now I'm going to come back with just a, a concealer pen. And this is just the cutest little thing. You just dial it and the, the color comes up. And we're going to go right in the center of the forehead. Now, well, between the eyes, not the center of the forehead. And we're going to come right down the center of the nose in between our contour lines. We're going to catch the cupid's bow and the center of the chin. There we go. We're going to catch the inner corner of the eye. And again, this is great if you're in a hurry and don't have a lot of time. Put a little bit more up there. 
there we go, inner and outer corner of the eye. And I like to, for some reason we didn't get it much up there. Yeah, there's plenty still in here, there we go. So we're gonna do, there we go, the inner and outer corners of the eyes. And I like to give a, like a fake eye lift to where you start at the corner and go straight up. What you're doing is by using a different shade, you're creating a focal point for your eye to where that's where other people's eyes go when they look at you so they don't notice the droopiness of the eyes. Because as mature women, we have droopy eyes. I know, I know. Okay, I didn't go under my eye because I'll blend that and there we go, that'll be fine, that's better. And now all we have to do is blend. So grab our brush and I'm going to just blend. And notice I am tapping around my eye. I'm not pulling the skin. We've got that tender, tender skin around our eyes. And so many people say it's like a rubber band and it loses its elast elasticity. My rubber band has popped. So we're just going to, there we go. At 68, I need help. Let's put it that way. So we're just going to tap and put it where it needs to go. We want it to stay right there. See how you don't have the distinct lines, but the highlight is there. You can still see the contour of the nose. That's what you're looking for. You don't want a heavy blend. Now let's come up here and blend our contour up and go up into the hairline again. And we're creating shadows. And what these shadows do is they're going to define the face just a little bit more. Same thing right here. We're just going to tap this contour up. There we go. Love, love, love BB cream. It is so easy. And again, this is just dressing it up a little bit. Now, I am going to use, like I say, we're going to go with the mauve colors. So I'm going to use this blush stick. Notice how this is like paint with numbers, more or less. There we go. Some over here, we're just painting. All right, and then give this a soft blend as well. I love easy. Yeah, and I missed the spot right there. There we go. I like easy, I like quick, and it gives me that little bit of a lift, you know, that, that we need sometimes. There we go, there we go. Love, love, love this look. Maybe a little on the end of the nose, a little bit under the chin, just for good measure. Now, let's grab some mascara. I love this False Lashes Mascara. It's good stuff. I like to hit the back part of the lash first. There we go. And then come back afterwards, after I've coated each lash on the top side, then come back and catch underneath. Do the little wiggle number, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. There we go, oops. Don't stick it in your eye. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what to do. Don't wipe that because you'll smear it. I'll show you what to do with that. I am the world's worst of sticking this thing in my eye or even worse getting mascara up here after I've done my eyeshadow, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you my trick. And what's going to happen is it's gonna dry to a solid and we're gonna flick it away. Don't touch it. If ever you finished your eyeshadow and you blop it up in the uh, on top of it, just leave it there and go up, go ahead and, and finish the rest of your makeup, whatever you were doing, and let it dry. And then I'm going to show you in just a second how to get rid of that to where it will never, they'll never know it was ever there. There we go. I love this, love this, because it always looks like I have just a little bit of a false lash on, and I don't. It's the mascara, and it's not expensive either. Uh, lips, lips, lips. So we have to do the lips. Where did I put my lips? 
Okay, okay, okay. Did I pick it up and put it back down? I thought I had, yep, yeah, there it is. We're gonna do this really pretty purpley mauve color. This is like a vinyl lipstick, our lip gloss. It stays on really well, and look how pretty that is. It's available in a lot of shades. There we go. Looks like I lined them and I didn't. Give a little bit of a... And the thing I like about the vinyl part, it stays on. So here we have a really simple look using a BB cream and a, um, a little a contour stick. We used a concealer stick, a blush stick, some mascara, and some lips. And so this is the way I was able, probably within three minutes, can go from bare face to ready to go anywhere. Go to lunch, go to dinner, add a little bit of eyeshadow, even one shade of eyeshadow, and uh, all over the lid, and you've got a really, really elegant look. Now, when I put on eyeshadow, I do prime my eyes. Someone had asked that earlier. Yes, I do use an eye primer, um, which is very good. Now, here we go with our blop from the mascara. It'll dry to a solid, get a soft brush, and just give it a flick and it's gone. It's great, especially if you plop it up here and your eyes are done, or even if they're not. Let the dots dry and then get your brush and you can just flick them off because it dries to a solid. No one told me this until a little while ago. That's one of the neatest tricks I think I know. I appreciate you joining me today. If you're interested in anything that I use, comment in the just name it in the comment, mascara, concealer, whatever. And I'll send you the link or we can talk about a color match if you'd like to try the BB cream. Uh, it, it's available in five shades. I use shade number four and I consider myself a medium to dark uh, shade. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're catching this on the replay, please comment replay. You be the reason someone smiles today, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.